Now I'm going to show you how you can add order bumps to your teachable courses. So right now I have a demo course here which is called Instagram training and if someone would go and sign up on this course they will come to the checkout page and on checkout page they can sign up for this course. But what I want to do is I want to add an order bump on this page. So as an order bump I want student to buy Instagram templates as well. So let's see how to add that. So go back to the course and on the left menu you will find order bumps. So click on that. So when you do not have any order bumps this is how the page will look like. But now we are going to go ahead and start adding the order bump. So click on the create order bump. It will show you the options to add your new order bump. So you select your main product which is the training on which you are offering this bump. And then main product pricing plan. You have to select the pricing plan. This is the pricing plan for the main product. And now we are going to add the order bump. So this is where you select the product that you want to offer as an order bump. So this is the product that I'm gonna sell as an order bump which is Instagram templates. And the pricing for this is 49. So this is what I'm going to add as an order bump. So click next. So here you have an option that you can also modify few additional de details about order bump. Here the original price for Instagram templates was $49 but you could reduce the price when you are offering it as an order bump. So let's say in this case I want to make it $29. And you can also use this option show original price with strike through. So what will happen is this 49 will be striked through and then 29 will show. So let's use that. It's good. Checkbox text which is what you want to show to user. We'll see how it looks like. Yes. Add this to my order. Yes. You can add that. And what will be the order bump headline? This is the headline that will show on the order bump. So let's use the same as the Instagram templates done for you Instagram templates and you can say these are you want to write these are 60 Instagram templates okay so these are some of the details about the order bump that will show on the checkout page and with that click on add order bump so now the order bump is added but it will still not show on our checkout page so let's go and check. So this is the checkout page. Really you don't see anything. After creating your order bump and to make it to show on your checkout page, we need to publish it. To publish the order bump, simply toggle the publish button and your order bump is now published. So let's go and look at the checkout page one more time. Now I'm on a checkout page. As you can see, the order bump is showing at the bottom. So this is how someone who want to buy your paint product this is how they will see if they want to add this order bump they can select this and then it will be added to their purchase so this is the headline that we added this is the description and as you can see the strike through is showing up and this is the price so you can add multiple order bumps to a course but at one time only one of those can be active they cannot be two order bumps that can be published at the same time. When you want to look at the transactions for order bump, you can always go to your transaction tabs and you can filter by offer type and there it will show you your transactions that were order bumps. At any time you want to delete your order bump, you can simply go there and click on delete or you can unpublish your order bumps. This is a good way to also offer some private courses which are not published for the general public so you can offer these only to those students who buy the main product so this is one of the good tactic to get more sales and show more value for your product